like a boss. All right, ladies. So today we're gonna be talking about a very um, important topic, okay? And that topic was came about because of yesterday's video, where I talk about masculine as terminating as women, right? So, um, so this one is about how to be more feminine, okay? And and this is the thing is that a lot of the times when a woman is masculine, it's usually because either it's a, it's in our character, um, they were raised by no, it's either in their character. Or they were, or they were abused by guys, physically abused. So you turn defensive, and that defensiveness turns you more masculine, or just a, a variety of, of many different factors. But the point is, is that the common thing amongst masculine women is extreme defensiveness and sensitivity to being told what to do. Right? There's like pent up emotion. There's like an intensity, you know, and it's kind of like you can't control it that well, right? And and what just happened is that because of your need for control. You don't know how to let go of control. So you always got to control things. It's because of anxiety. You know, when you when you gave up the control, somebody abused it. You see what I'm saying? And the truth is this, man, is that I'm not going to tell you my recipe. Okay? The first thing I'm going to recommend is therapy. St therapy. When you're a masculine woman, it means there's a lot of defensiveness in you. There's a lot of pain that you haven't processed properly. You see? So the first thing I recommend is, is go see a therapist and talk to somebody because it's, it's just it's just pent up pain, pent up resentment that you haven't let go of. And when you meet a man and he and he says, hey, come over here, suck daddy's dick. <laughs> right. I know that knows you guys. Right. When he says that, you don't feel feminine. You feel <laughs> like <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like you just like like you just like, how dare you? You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you don't ha you can't have fun you're restricted so which, so outside of going to therapy which i highly recommend is it's funny i recommend that and i don't go to therapy but I've, I've always been able to help myself so um if i really need it i'll go one day but for now i can handle it but you know it, it'll be a good idea for me to go too right to be honest with you guys but what, what i would recommend is just be present because think about it the defensiveness comes because you're resisting the emotion not resisting the emotion but resisting the experience or or you don't want what's going on right now right so if you're a woman who's who's very masculine there are a few things you could do practice meditation on a daily basis this will calm you this will calm your ass down it will calm you down you won't get so defensive you won't get as anxious so literally literally practicing meditation literally practicing meditation will make you more feminine because what you got to let go of is the need for control you got to let go of that. You got to be a little bit more relaxed. And the thing is, is a lot of masculine women are, are single mothers. And they got to control things. You see what I'm saying? But you have to internally let go of the need to control. That's what I'm saying. You can control things. Just let go of the need. And, and how you do that? You just notice yourself. Whenever you feel the need to control, breathe into it and notice it. You know, like go watch the video. I have a video. It's called um, how to be happy with a pen and paper. It explains exactly the process. But whenever that's triggered, what you want to do is be more present, not become more, not, not getting your head. You know, when people just black out because they have anger issues, right? And the reason why they're blacking out is because they're feeling the emotion and then reacting. They're not feeling the emotion, observing the emotion, and then acting. There's no space between emotion and reaction. What we want to do is create some space between you, the reaction, between you and your reaction, right? So that comes through you simply observing your reaction, right? When, when you feel that defensiveness, when you just feel angry or somebody tells you what to do, breathe into it. You might be exaggerating it. You see what I'm saying? Now, the next thing I recommend is yoga, doing yoga, because it just calms your mind. You know, you, you, it's, it's all about removing that excess energy that comes from resistance. You see what I'm saying? So practicing yoga will calm you down. You see what I'm saying? So, but the biggest thing is, 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 is not just meditation. It's being present in the moment. Being present in the moment consistently. And the way you do that is, I highly recommend the book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Or his other book called Practicing the Power of Now. By Eckhart Tolle it'll talk about how to be present in a moment and I'm telling you man if you're a masculine woman and you read this book and you apply it you will be more feminine you see what I'm saying you will be more receptive 
All right. So just, just it's it sounds like it sounds like a um, like I'm giving a, a prescription, right? Because I'm not telling you what to do exactly, because this is such a long topic that this is what you got to do. Meditate, do yoga, get some therapy and watch that video about how to be happy with a pen and paper how, um, so that you can learn how to deal with those emotions when they arise outside of that you, you just gotta you just gotta do that and give it time you can't change overnight there are some instincts in you that will never leave you see what i'm saying so the best thing to do is just do what what, what this channel says when you're talking to someone breathe and just be more present the problem lies when somebody tells you what to do right the problem lies when you got to be submissive to a guy that's a problem right and a lot of women ask me, why do you have to be submissive? Somebody has to lead. Somebody has to lead. And the thing is, is that you can't respect the man that you lead. That's, you see what I'm saying? Like, unless you respect that, then you shouldn't even be watching this video. Because you know what? This is not the video for you. You're already masculine and you accept it. But it is not healthy for a woman to be with a man who she leads. Because she can't respect him. All that muscle for nothing? Nigga, please, you're a bitch. You see what I'm saying? So, it's it's it's... It's something that I'm, I'm really gonna have to think about this to be honest with you um it's a it, I, I put myself in the corner right now because i told you guys to let the guy chase and i told you guys not to chase the guy but also a the problem with that is that it removes a lot of your femininity you, you gain masculine energy and it's my fault you know so i gotta i gotta see i gotta observe observe things a little bit closer in that regard so i can see what's going on because it's a dilemma. It truly is. And it's something that I don't know what to do about that. You see what I'm saying? But I'm going to think about it. You know? And that's the thing is always that you guys need to understand. I don't know everything. You know? Like, there are some things that I just don't know. And I'm willing to admit that. And for me, it takes time to process things. And this is one of those things that will take time to process. And I hope that I don't lead people astray because of how long I'm going to take to to think about this because it is a contradiction and most likely the end result isn't a result that leads to both parties being happy most most likely the the conclusion to why i might be thinking of is gonna be it's just not good for women <laughs> like <laughs> because because like if you want to submit to a guy the guy you're talking to has to be masculine but the problem is that guys act, act masculine in the beginning or you don't know if he's really single. It's just so many problems. My God. But I'm, I got you guys. Okay. I'll observe things. I'll analyze. I'll be present. I'll be aware. And when, when I find a solution, I'll let you guys know. Most likely there's not even a solution, but that's how things are done. Okay. We, we ain't guessing here. All right. Peace out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy, to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get out. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem your masculine is your shield so we'll talk about goal setting we'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude we're going to be talking about how to um how to use more logic how to use more goal oriented behavior it's more how to be a man <laughs> you know it, you know now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy right this one would this one would teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits developing self-awareness healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. 
and how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10 day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think that the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.